Your mom pushes you out into the dark ancient ocean, already equipped with the weirdest mouth in history. A spiral of razor-sharp teeth that curls inward like nature's own buzzsaw. Your mother swims nearby, looking at her feeding on a giant squid, ripping it apart with her spiral saw of death, you realize you've got some serious growing to do. Two more of your siblings slide out after you. Then comes what's left of your other brother, just ahead. Last night inside mom, you had your first meal. Turns out when you're born with a buzzsaw for a mouth, your siblings make pretty good practice. Before you can even process what's happening, your mom vanishes into the dark waters. No goodbye, no parenting tips about how to use your built-in circular saw, she's just gone. The three of you float there, confused, when suddenly you hear a horrible crunching sound. You turn around just in time to see your brother finishing off your sister. Apparently, the family eating tradition continues. You don't stick around to be dessert, you take off as fast as your tiny fins can carry you. All that running makes your stomach growl now. Time for your first solo hunt, but how exactly do you eat with this spiral thing in your mouth? You spot a small fish swimming nearby, perfect first target. You dart forward, mouth open, but the fish is gone before your teeth even get close. After a few more embarrassing attempts and watching other predators hunt, you figure out the trick. Uh -huh. Create a quick suction with your mouth. You try again, this time pulling water in sharply as you approach another fish. Success. Well, kinda. The fish is stuck awkwardly in your spiral, and you're pretty sure this isn't how it's supposed to work. After a few days of embarrassing attempts and a lot of hungry nights, you start getting the hang of it. Quick suction pulls the prey towards your mouth, and then your spiral teeth do what they're best at, slicing through flesh like a circular saw. It's messy, but effective. Dinner is served. But just as you're mastering your first hunting technique, a massive shadow passes overhead. Some ancient shark whose regular teeth might be boring, but are definitely bigger than your entire body. A hungry ancient shark is the last thing you need right now. You dart between rocks, your small size finally coming in handy. The massive predator can't follow you through the narrow gaps, and you watch its frustrated shadow pass overhead. Looks like being small isn't always a bad thing. Many months later. Speaking of growing, your spiral of teeth keeps getting bigger, adding new rows that curl inward like a deadly Swiss roll. Each time you eat, the old teeth move further into the spiral, making room for new ones at the front. Other baby sharks just replace their teeth. You're collecting yours like some kind of weird tooth hoarder. You discover the other young helicoprions in the deep waters. Turns out you're not the only one figuring out how this bizarre mouth works. A few months pass, and you've grown from bite size to big time threat. You're now about as long as a school bus, with a spiral of teeth bigger than a car tire. Time to hunt something bigger. Uh -huh. Those tiny fish you've been chasing? That's baby stuff. Swimming through the dark waters, you spot your real target, a giant squid. It's huge, about the size of a small tree, but that's exactly what your buzzsaw mouth was made for. You swim up from below, remembering all your failed attempts from when you were smaller. The squid spots you and tries to escape, spraying ink in your face like underwater smoke. Not today, it seems to say, but you're not that helpless baby anymore. You're bigger, faster, and a whole lot hungrier. With a burst of speed, you catch up to the squid. Chomp! Your spiral teeth grip tight, and that's when the magic happens. One quick twist of your head, and your saw-like teeth slice clean through its body. The water clouds with blood as half the squid tries to jet away while the other half disappears down your throat. But life with a buzzsaw mouth isn't all victory hunts. You learn pretty quick that your weird mouth has some major downsides. You can't take small bites. You can't eat mm -hmm. from the side. It's all or nothing. Either your prey fits in your spiral, or you go hungry. Those big sharks that used to chase you, now they keep their distance. You've gone from running away to making others run. Though sometimes you still get your teeth stuck in rocks while hunting, which is about as embarrassing as it sounds. Being a top predator is pretty lonely, though. Every time you try to swim near regular sharks, they take one look at your face and swim away as fast as they can. Finding a mate? Let's just say having a mouthful of spinning teeth isn't exactly attractive. You try showing off your hunting skills, but most potential mates seem worried about how you'd even kiss without slicing them up. But hey, who needs friends when you can slice through giant squid like they're made of butter? You're doing just fine on your own. As weeks pass, you grow more confident in your hunting grounds. That is, until one morning when everything changes. You're hunting in deeper waters than usual when you spot it. Mm -hmm. A massive armored fish, ancient and tough. Its plates gleaming like metal in the dim light. You've seen smaller ones before, but this one's different. Your hunger gets the best of you, and you charge in for the kill. How the hell are you in my territory? Big mistake. Your spiral teeth slam against its armor with a sickening crack. 
Instead of slicing through, your precious tooth whorl catches between the plates. Pain shoots through your jaw as you struggle to break free. The armored giant thrashes, dragging you along like a toy. In desperation, you twist your body sharply, finally breaking loose, but leaving several of your precious teeth embedded in its armor. You retreat to shallower waters, hurt and humiliated. For days, you stick to smaller prey while your jaw heals, learning a harsh uh -huh. lesson about picking your battles. A week later, nursing your wounded pride in warm current, you spot something that makes you forget all about your aching jaw. Another Helicoprion, a female. Your instincts kick in immediately. She sees you too, and instead of fleeing, she circles closer. The next few minutes are like a deadly game of don't lose your head during the business, literally. When you've got a buzzsaw for a face, you've got to be real careful where you put it. But somehow, you both figure it out. Don't ask how, this isn't that kind of video. And it turns out, having a circle of razor-sharp teeth isn't a total deal-breaker. I mean, at least she seems satisfied, unlike those OnlyFans girls. And surprisingly, she doesn't swim away immediately after. For the first time since you were born, you're not completely alone. That's when they show up. A pack of new predators enters your territory. Sleek, fast sharks with rows of regular teeth. They're different from anything you've seen before, moving together like they share one mind. The female Helicoprion who's been hunting in your territory vanishes at the first sight of them. Smart move, but you can't just swim away. This is your hunting ground, and your belly is already growling with hunger. Besides, where would you even go? You size them up, six of them, spread out in a hunting formation. Before you can even decide to fight or flee, they make the choice for you. They move like lightning, three hitting you from different angles. Your spiral teeth catch one of them in the side, ripping through flesh, but that's when you learn why these hunters are different. They don't retreat when one gets hurt. Instead, two more slam into your gills while another tears at your fins. Your signature move, the deadly spiral bite, is useless against multiple attackers. Each time you focus on one, the others rip into you. The water clouds red with blood, mostly yours. As their teeth tear into you again and again, you do the only thing you can. You flee into deeper waters, leaving behind your hunting grounds and half your pride. Your massive tooth whirl might be deadly against single prey, but against a coordinated pack, it's about as useful as bringing a knife to a sword fight against three. Limping into deeper waters, you find more of your kind, all of us pushed out by these faster, smaller predators. The ocean keeps getting colder, and all your prey is moving to warmer waters where your massive body can't follow. Those new sharks with their boring regular teeth, they're thriving on the small fish while you're slowly starving. That's when she appears, the female you mated with, now just as tired and hungry as you are. For a moment, you feel relieved. At least you're not alone. Then she attacks, her spiral teeth tearing you into two pieces. That's when you realize how your species ends. We're eating each other in desperate attempts to survive. Subscribe if you don't want your date to end this way.